This is because of the number of fractions, so we need to recognize how we can use the right fraction. We need to calculate the fraction equal per whole divide half quarter each of half. So let us ask how to do the issues to the topic. What should we need to share with you? Is our paper equally as can go to it? So here we can see mm -hmm. the different ways in which it can be folded. Mm -hmm. When you hold it, you won't see the number that each of the other pieces is packed in. So number one, and we fold this vertically, and you can also fold the folders horizontally. Rectangle. Number two, I can do the folders horizontally and then vertically to make sure it's a square. And the other piece is the part. Yes, we are a piece of square and fold in the middle. Okay, so you can also um, fold it from corner to corner to make. We have a slightly very challenge here, and um, we need to find if the shapes are equal parts. So equal and not equal. So let's look at the rectangle here. The line in the middle, there are two rectangles, they are equal. And the two then, the left angle is folders uh, vertically, there are two smaller rectangles on the side, so we need to the line in the middle. Here is a circle, there is a line near the top. One side is bigger than the other, it means it is not equal. Looking at a square here, the line is not in the middle, one part and one piece is bigger than the other, it is not equal. Circle here, there is a line going to the middle, both sides and I have to say five equal. And the right side is on the bottom. The line is not in the middle. One side is bigger than the other, and one piece is bigger than the other. So that means it is not. So if we were to fold, and paper, we can make it as in half. And if we were to fold this again with another equal part, we can make four holes. We can make half and four holes. And when we fold a square piece of paper, or vertically or horizontally, there are two equal parts. We write this as one over two. And we can see here that. One half is shaded, and one half isn't. So, what fraction square shaded? So, we say there's one part shaded, there are two parts of total, with so one over two. So, one part out of two equal parts of square shaded. Over here, then, when we fold it again, we can make four equal parts. So, can see there are four squares. One part of four equal parts square the shaded. So that means it's one on top, one part, and one piece. And then how many parts in total? There are four. We have one over four. One quarter of the square is shaded. So one half over here, and one quarter over here. There are four equal parts. The name of each part of the quarter is quarter or four. Next, we go to decide which shape is a half and which shape is a quarter. Let's say this. So, if we circle one half here, this is the triangle of the circle. 
that is the triangle to be taken on the whole meeting and both sides are equal. The second, where it is smaller part of the circle table, it is not equal. Then it says here, circle is a quarter. In the triangle here, there are two parts. One is shaders, but it, that means it's one and two, so one half. Here, we can see the triangle is divided into four equal parts. One part is shaded, whether it's one over four, it is a quarter or a quarter. Down here, we need to divide it a half or a quarter. Look and see how many parts there are. There is one part shaded, so one. And then how many is open? Four. So one over four is the quarter. Over here then, there are two equal parts. There is one part shaded, so that's one over two, or one half. Now we're going to cut out more than one quarter or one half. So what fraction of the walk through is eaten? There are four equal parts. The name of each part is quarter and four. You can see here that there's only one left. The two parts were eaten. So we do three over four, which is three quarters. Down here then, what fraction is shaded? The four equal parts, four is shaded, and quarter. Number two, two parts are shaded, there are four parts in total, two quarters. Can you tell me another fraction for this shape? Look at it carefully. If we were to take away this line in the middle, the line going down vertically will show us that the rectangle is folded or cut in half, so two quarters also mean one half. And number three then, there are three parts shaded, there are four parts in total, so that is three quarters. A cake is put into three equal pieces. Sam and Holly put a piece each. How much of the cake did they take all together? There are three good parts, the name of each part is the third. Sam is in third, Holly is in third, that is the egg, two thirds. You can see here, this is what it looks like, one third, and two thirds. Now it's time for you to have a go. So the circle of the pictures that show one third of the shape shape. The first part we have one part shaded. There are two parts in total, so that is one third. So this one here, one third. Here we have two parts shaded, so two parts in total, two thirds. This is not the first one. Here we have one part shaded, three parts in total, one third, three parts of this one. And here we have two parts shaded, three parts in total, that is two thirds, and do not need to take this shape. And the square here goes three parts shaded. Four, that's in total, that is two for eight, we'll be 